drink a glass of lemonade just about any day. <laughs> Me too. Ice cream as well. Doesn't oh, yes. matter. It could oh, be yes. freezing outside. <laughs> you know what? We are going to be back to a summery pattern, Leanne, by next week. So hopefully you've enjoyed the low humidity out there over the last several days. And even into this weekend, we are going to see the humidity increasing. So you'll probably notice it. You might have noticed it out there already today just a touch. And you can definitely see in Greensboro the clouds coming back. That means the rain will be back as well. That's tonight overnight into early Saturday. It's warming up next week. That's when that steamy stormy pattern returns. Our high today was closer to normal at 86 degrees. 88 is our normal high temperatures right now. They're kind of hovering in the low 70s across the area. And yeah, the dew points aren't in the 50s anymore. They're coming up into the 60s, so it's a little bit more uncomfortable, a little bit more water suspended in the air and some of that falling to the ground. We talked about this at the top of the newscast, some patchy, very light rain sprinkles from King up toward Danbury and then a little more significant rain starting to fill in down here to the south. Ramsar community Liberty working its way northward into the southeastern Guilford County and southern Alamance County down near High Rock Lake Denton Newsom in southern Davidson County. Some steadier rains kind of moving in rain for tonight is focused over the triad and points to the east. So you should be largely rain free in the mountains and foothills through daybreak. As far as storms go real low in thunderstorms are in the forecast over the next 24 hours, not anticipating widespread severe. There's a slightly higher chance for severe storms to our east. So we will likely see some heavy downpours and there will be some lightning. So there will be some noise and it may even wake you up in the overnight before you get up tomorrow morning. Rain and storms will likely be moving through the Piedmont Triad. The timing for that is morning and midday and then kind of tapering off in the afternoon. The timing for rain in the mountains comes later in the day where we could have a few thunderstorms developing after lunchtime. Again, we think most of these storms will stay below severe limits. Overnight, temperatures are in the upper 60s in the Piedmont Triad, along with that rain and kind of stormy scenario. 61 in the mountains tomorrow morning with clouds. This is where we are right now. As we push forward, you're going to see a good bit of cloud cover and then notice by about 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, some steadier rains with some heavier downpours moving in. You can see it's relatively rain free mountains and foothills, at least in the morning with the heavier stuff across the triad. By lunchtime, again, the focuses largely over the triad. Then we start to break out in the afternoon and that's when we look for that round of storms to kind of push in later tomorrow for the mountains. And then by tomorrow night, if you've got Saturday evening plans, you could be impacted by some stormy weather in the foothills and it might hold together into the Piedmont triad. But you're noticing our weather impact symbols here for the early part of the day in the Piedmont. High temperature about 83 tomorrow afternoon. For the foothills, we don't think the coverage of rain is going to be real significant. So just some spotty kind of pesky showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm though as we head into the nighttime hours for the mountains. High temperature is 79. We've got our focus of rain really coming in late in the day. So if you're in the mountains, you want to get out early if you've got to do some things outdoors. Here's your seven day forecast. It is hotter. It's more humid on Sunday and it looks to be drier of the two weekend days. We've got 90s back in the forecast for next week.